Eat whatever you want and pay whatever you remember. Oh. <laughs> This is terrifying if you are afraid of heights. Every place we're going, it's just getting more and more beautiful. This is crazy. We took a super quick commuter line from Jogjakarta all the way up to Solo. Now that's only like, <laughs> I don't know, like one and a half hours on the commuter line. So it's not super, super far away. But apparently Solo is a lot less touristy and a lot more authentic, which is why we're here and we cannot wait to explore this area. Guys, we made our way well up into the highlands of Solo to a place called Kemuning. And there's apparently like a skywalk or a sky bridge that we're gonna be checking out. And um, we were in the car for roughly around 45 minutes or so. Made our way up here. Our amazing Airbnb host, Sigit is uh, with us for the next two days. For the next 48 hours, we're going to be exploring Solo and what it has to offer. And yeah, guys, we're gonna check out this area, see what type of views we can get. It looks to be absolutely gorgeous around here. There's a lot of greenery, a lot of nature. Just have a look at this. Did you see the My God. Yeah. How beautiful is the tea plantation? It's uh, always the number one thing that I enjoy in the mountainous areas is the scent of the tea. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Really amazing. Now I'm very very curious to see how Luke is going to perform because Luke has some... Uh, well, he's a little bit scared of heights, let's say it like this. and. Uh, this is the sky bridge we're currently planning on going on and apparently this bridge has a glass floor so yeah there will definitely be challenging for Luke we're gonna see how he will perform uh, but I'm, I'm sure terrified. it's gonna be really nice for me it's gonna be nice for Luke it's gonna <laughs> be whatever <laughs> 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 Welcome to Kamuning. Kamuning. Ah, very nice place. Hello. 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 <laughs> to Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How crazy is this, huh? Yeah, this is the first glass part, and it's already a little bit like for me, it's a little bit scary. For Luke, it's probably. Terrifying. A little bit scary. <laughs> whoa, whoa. This is epic though. I cannot wrap my head around this. This is so beautiful. It's it literally so nice. just juts out from the hillside here. Yeah. So cool. So windy as well. Very like fresh air in comparison to the big city areas. It's yeah. super nice. It's incredible. Oh so my God. scary. Terrifying. <laughs> Don't look camera. down. <laughs> <laughs> you can concentrate on walking. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, looking down is not a thing right now. <laughs> for the first time. Oh. <laughs> yes, for oh the first time. God. It will be scary, but oh. uh, if you want to say that about the time, then have to show. <laughs> He's not lifting his feet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, how beautiful is this? Yeah. Scary but beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. I love also. it. Thank yeah. you so much for showing us. No yeah. problem, it's my pleasure. You see the, the wind, mm. it's a blowing and very cool. <laughs> it's not too bad weather. No, the weather is nice. The weather is nice. 
Hello. In the morning it's very clear. Yeah. All of the and sunrise. Uh -huh. You can see the sunrise here. The sunrise there, yes, yes, yes over there. Oh, that yeah. must be so beautiful. Luke stopped, of course, in the green part, <laughs> not in the glass part. <laughs> Safe place. <laughs> you really scared or just Terri terrified? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> He's so scared. <laughs> Funny. This is terrifying if you are afraid of heights, like myself. But very proud that I did it. I'm currently standing in the middle of this see-through glass bridge right now, and um, it is pretty far down. But the views, the nature—I cannot believe that this is Indonesia. To be honest, this is out of this world. Really, really blown away. Every day that we're here is a new experience, to be honest. And I'm holding on for dear life onto every railing here. The tales of Luke being scared continue. <laughs> He's <is> stuck. <laughs> Making fun. <laughs> Believe. You are the mad explorer here. <laughs> <laughs> Look also, but also more also more in a calm way. More of a sad explorer. <laughs> more in a subtle explorer way. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Show the camera how you walk. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for overcoming your fears. So proud? Yes. Yeah, I feel like uh, I've accomplished something today. For I need sure. to uh, I need to get like a trophy, like a little trophy, maybe an ice cream. We're gonna get you a trophy and an ice cream. Maybe we can buy a trophy and put the ice cream inside. That's a good idea. On top. <laughs> <laughs> And is this here something that local tourists would do to visit? Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the newest one, mm -hmm. uh, just recently. It is open, I think it's about uh, six months ago. Mm -hmm. Six months? Uh, six yeah. months ago, yeah, about six, about six months ago, yeah. Previously only, uh, maybe only 100 meters here, but now it's more than that. Now it's more than that, yeah. yeah. And other than that, the area is known for durian. Production. Oh yes, yes. And here tea. is the nearby here is the center of the durian. So when the durian season, you can enjoy durian. Mm -hmm. And I and my wife love durian very much. <laughs> Sometimes I bring uh, my friend uh, from Germany or maybe from Australia to test whether you are you are like Indonesian. <laughs> if you eat durian, it means that you are Indonesian. <laughs> it's the test that you have to, you have to not yeah. fail the test, you have to but pass. <laughs> yes, yes. Only five, two among five is pass. <laughs> <laughs> very, like you, like you. Very little you passing like, rate, yeah. no? <laughs> but you like pate, yeah? This is not pate. No, I know. Jengkol. Jengkol, yeah. Jengkol is nice. Stinky bean is nice. Stinky bean. Oh, you eat it's Jengkol. nice, yeah. Yeah. We had a nasi padang. Oh. They had they had stinky bean. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Luke left us. <laughs> Luke is just gone. <laughs> what an amazing first stop for today. And but now we are going to continue on a little bit higher up actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there in the distance. About there is where we're going now uh, to visit a temple and apparently you have a very very nice view from the temple and this temple is from the year of 1200 uh, from what i understood so it's i think a little bit like lying in ruins at the moment um, but yeah we're gonna go higher up and then probably enjoy the sunset from there we're currently driving through lemba Katersnan, or the valley of love 
and I can tell you something guys we absolutely love the views that we are seeing out the window <laughs> right now it is incredible what do you think it's so so beautiful I just I'm so in love with it especially now it's sort of golden hour we're getting closer <laughs> <laughs> we're getting closer to sunset so uh, yeah the views are uh, spectacular here with the beautiful colors in the sky really really amazing and um, it takes some really uh, I want to say balls of steel to drive up these types of hills as well yeah. these are uh, pretty steep hills I know I would never be able to drive up here a car <laughs> we just parked up here and um, made our way to this oh my god <laughs> every place we're going it's just getting more and more beautiful this is crazy and this here is apparently one of the last Hindu communities uh, in the area. I don't know if he meant all of Java or just the area. I believe it was this area here. And uh, it's so, so beautiful. You even have these types of uh, nicely decorated gates and so on that look similar to the ones in Bali. Now he said that Bali probably copied the ones from here. So <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know who started it, the trend, but uh, it's very beautiful to look at. <laughs> yeah, insanely beautiful, gorgeous houses. And then the backdrop of the amazing hillside of Solo, Indonesia. Wow. So it appears that the temple that we wanted to go to for sunset is closed, unfortunately. But we're still way up here, trying to figure out if, if they're willing to open it up for us. The views all around here are out of this world. like unlike anything that we've ever seen have a look here we've got like a Balinese style gate because we are in one of the last remaining Hindu communities have a look Whoa. so beautiful so stunning to look at also the, the statues here directly in front um, very very cool to see And all over the village you can hear different animal sounds yeah. it's very cool to see the different to hear the cows and the goats and chicken and whatever <laughs> it's really cool <laughs> just closed a minute ago yeah just closed a minute ago, yeah, a yeah. minute ago. you cannot convince them <laughs> <laughs> wink wink sunset in yeah. the top yeah but in that. This is very so beautiful here, though. Oh, maybe we Look just at the seats. We <laughs> just sit there and then yeah. uh, have uh, some glass of coffee. Maybe it's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah sounds like a plan. Never say no to sun. coffee. Sun. This is why we love Indonesia so much because uh. Indonesians love coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the, the, the coffee in Indonesia has so many varieties. Yeah, mm. yeah. best Every in the world. Every area has its own. Yep. From Robusta, Arabica, Liberica, and some other variety. Yep. Yeah. Veronica. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Susanna. Susanna. <laughs> now me. Now me. <laughs> All of them. Red hot chili peppers. <laughs> but now Indonesia is very well known because we have a very uh, f fundamental uh, oh, singer. Photo. Yeah. Putri Ariani. <laughs> ah. yeah. Where we are right now, we're actually at the base camp of Mount Lawu and from this base camp, this particular place, it's around eight hours up. So that'll give you a little bit of an idea and we're already very, very elevated in terms of where we are and uh, yeah, eight more hours. We're very, very lucky to be in a car. 
little pit stop to appreciate the sunset it's so beautiful now because you have a perfect view over the sky bridge and then the red ball that we call Sun <laughs> it's really nice beautiful unbelievable we've been driving down the hillside now for the last sort of half an hour kind of chasing the sunset amazing <laughs> I cannot. Have you taken a picture in the in between the? Oh Whoa. my God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name? Uh, Sompia. Sompia. <laughs> Sompia. Oh. Very good. <laughs> I'm already halfway through the snack. Have some more. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> oh, ginger with milk. Hot and fried, hot and fried. I don't know what he said. Oh, I have food. <laughs> I'm confused. It's always tofu. Green uh, tofu. Vegetable. <laughs> oh. The man just said that this is the only place that you can try this one, which I believe has something to do with rice noodles. I'm not 100% sure. We will have to unpack this beautiful leaf in order to understand what is on the inside. Because uh, it seems like <laughs> we're currently trying to figure it out what is what. Also, where do we pay? It's an absolute feast going on right here and it seems to be obviously like a sorry like a buffet style so you do have choice of what you want to eat and uh, you just load up your plate and then you pay for whatever you want basically but um, we're definitely feeling hungry we've been exploring around the highlands surrounding solo pretty much all day now so let's see what we can uh, devour here at this place they are, they are currently discussing what we are going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I like having no choice because then you can just try whatever uh, the locals approve of. And uh, I feel like that's a better way than standing here and trying to figure out what is what, you know. <laughs> so we're actually sitting right next to where everything is being sold here. It's an absolute chaos right now. They're trying to explain to us what is what, but the, the, the ingredients are <laughs> like a little bit difficult. Yeah. But uh, it's nice. Anyway, we were just told that it's so hot. Yeah. We should try you know, this one. You know their motto? Yeah. Eat whatever you want uh -huh. and pay whatever you remember. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. It's a trusty system. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I believe this is Yahe Kenjur Jeruk. So it's uh, ginger, orange, and whatever Kenjur is. I don't know what Kenjur is. <laughs> but it smells very nice. Oh, it's super hot. Mm. It tastes like um, 
like a hot lemon yes, no. with ginger. But like with uh, with fresh ingredients, so it's not like you know the the type of little powdery baggies that you can buy in Europe. It's like fresh ingredients, so it's really really tasty, uh, but unexpected. And you have a lot of stuff floating around in it. I don't know what to do with all of the stuff that is in it. When my second son want to sing, and then if they have a problem with their throat, the people are singing. And they drink this one. Oh, this is the cure. Yeah, it's like lontong. Huh? No lontong. Similar enough to lontong. It's nice. Mm. Tastes a little. No, this one tastes a little bit more uh, coconutty. So like a coconutty lontong. So the biggest and hardest decision to make when we come to a, a new place like this and we're brought here by locals is what exactly to try and figuring out what that is. So I have this here, which I have no idea, literally no idea. Do you know? Fried tofu with vegetables. Fried tofu with vegetables. So fried tahu or tahu goreng with vegetables on the inside. So let's give it a try. Tahu prontak, rebellion tofu. Tahu prontak. Prontak. Prontak is rebellion. Tahu prontak. It's a rebellious tofu. Tahu rebellion. Tahu susur. Tahu susur. Tahu susur. As an Irishman, you have to be careful eating the rebellious tofu. <laughs> Man, top. That's amazing. Oh, it must be really amazing if you're going in so fast. Oh. It's hot. Uh-huh. Show me what is in there. Mm. It's loaded full of vegetables. That is so tasty. It's like packed full of flavor. Like it's really hot and steamy on the inside. The vegetables are really sort of they have a particular flavor to them. It's almost like a little bit oily, buttery type of flavor. And um I typically don't like tofu at all but since I've came to Indonesia I've been eating tofu and really enjoying it and this is amazing mm. I just finished the whole thing so good 10 out of 10 I agree with Luke I was eating behind the camera it's very nice <laughs> very good uh, tofu vegetable ball mm. love it On to the chap chai. Chap I don't chai. know if you can see it. Chap chai, yeah? Chap chai is all. So I see vegetables. I see something like egg noodle, maybe? Something eggy. It's egg. Rice. Hello. Wow. Mandoan, tempe. The tempe. Fried tempe. Mandoan. Mandoan. Tempe. Banyuas. Banyumas. You must try. Yeah. This time without the tempe. Hello. No tempe this time. It's good. Okay. Yeah. It's not so spicy. It's sweet. Sweet chili. This one. It's not spicy. Anyway, it seems to be some sort of a mix of vegetables and I believe it's like rice flour maybe mixed with egg or something like that and they put it into this beautiful leaf I don't remember anything so you can sort of uh, take away your food and it's very very nice actually it's a nice little leaf packet full of power it's nice leaf packet full of power mm. Hot news. Hot news. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. This is really good. It is sweet. It's like a sweet potato. Very sweet. 
Interesting flavor, interesting texture. Oh, it's yeah. sweet. It's really sweet. It tastes like vanilla or something was added to it. Yeah. It tastes a little bit like vanilla. Really interesting. Like flavor. a sweet potato cake. Yeah. <laughs> Timos oh. is the name. Timos. 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 Yeah. Very good, Timos. Tellur. Puyo. Puyo. Quail egg. Quail egg. <laughs> Quail egg on a stick. Mm. That's an interesting flavor. I've genuinely never had a quail egg before. Is it like hard boiled? Hard boiled quail egg. Yeah. It's good. Why is it brown? It's not bad. Yeah, the color. I thought it was olives. It looks like an olive. Yeah. Maybe it's um, in shoyu, like in soy sauce or something. Maybe. They yeah. It? It's not bad at all. Yeah. We saw that they were selling Mendoan. Now, if you guys have been watching our videos, we have made a video in Baturaden in Corvocurto, and that was the first time that we tried Mendoan, which is a fried tempeh with a bunch of other stuff in there. And uh, as soon as we saw it, we had to grab one and uh, we're just literally split it in half and now we're just sharing it. It has quickly become one of our go-to's and one of our favorite to have, Mendoa. Mm. It's so good. Delicious, really, really good. I already devoured mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm already done with my Mendoa. Nothing comes in between me and my Mendoa. Yes. Uh, you must try this. This uh, steam banana. Steam banana. Yes. Uh, Arias <laughs> kedang kotok. Oh. Steam banana. Okay. Yes. Makasih. <laughs> or this steam peanuts. Steam peanuts. Yes. Oh my god. Steam everything. Kacang kotok. Kacang kotok. Yes. Kacang oh. rebus. <laughs> I think we're gonna stick to the bananas for now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open it. Steam right bananas. Now. Yes. Mantap. Mantap. Yep. Mantul. Mantul, Mantul. Magnus. <laughs> All of the words for tasty. <laughs> okay. Smells very banana y. Mm. Tastes like Good. a hybrid in between potato and banana. Wow. Sort of in the middle. Like a, not like a sweet potato, but like, like a banana y sweet potato. That's what yeah. it tastes like. Because it's steamed and it's obviously a starchy type of carbohydrate, so mm, it's good. Very nice. I do enjoy this. <laughs> the next day. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Solo or Sura Karta. We're going to be exploring around this city. It looks incredibly vibrant and something a little bit different for sure. So let's go check this place out. Now, as always, to understand the local culture a little bit better, we are starting off in the local market. In this case, it's Pasar Gede, and uh, we're going to have a look around what people here are offering in terms of fruit or souvenirs or anything like that. And I can already see some people here eating something, so uh, I'm sure we might get a little bit of a munch in as well. <laughs> Now Solo is known for its batik and one of the very first things that we were greeted with when we came into Pasar Gede was a batik seller. Just have a look at how beautiful some of these designs are. So you have a whole bunch of different colors, textures, fabrics, absolutely gorgeous. Now there is supposedly another Pasar called Pasar Clever or Clever. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that, but that's supposedly the place to go if you do want uh, affordable batik here in the city of Solo. This market, Pasar Gede, is more so geared towards snacks, food and of course a little bit of batik as well. All of the important things combined into one location. Absolutely. 
Let's go deeper into this pasar here. I already saw they have like these cute uh, tea packets. I don't know if like every single one of the tea packets in there is a, a different tea, but it looks really nice. I'm contemplating buying one of these. Oh yeah. It's like six different ones. Yeah. Really cool. And then it's hibiscus. I think flour hibiscus. To make hibiscus tea maybe. Yeah. I think Hello. <laughs> Well, we just strolled our way through the massive vegetable section here at Pasar Gede and then we made our way to what seems to be some sort of like a wooden weaving uh, section. They have a lot of different sort of wooden articles for sale like broomsticks and things to cook with, things to store your rice with, stuff like that and even these really interesting looking hats here as well. Absolutely amazing. Look at all this stuff. So much stuff. I'm hiding behind the brooms. Siang. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is such a unique market. It's very interesting. I just found a crazy looking tea package, but I'm not sure if this here is actually sugar or if it's a... Uh, oh no, Gula Batu. Seems to be some sort of sugar. Yeah, like rock, rock sugar. Uh, but it looks very interesting. It sort of looks a little bit like the tea that we had the other day uh, when we explored the outside areas of Solo. Um, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna buy this one, I don't know. I'm a little bit of a tea person, so... Looks really good, like a nice mixture. <laughs> Dua Lima. Dua Lima. 25. 25,000, yeah. I think. Ah, 25,000, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you wanna get some of the one of these tea packages? Oh, yeah, go yeah? for it, yeah. Two air panas. Ah. For uh, the chest yeah. to breathe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. First purchase. Yeah. Thank you. Can you believe the size of the cinnamon here? If you buy a cinnamon anywhere in like Europe, you only get like a pack that is this big with like two sticks or something like that and it would be like 10 euro at least this <laughs> one here is like you could you just get an entire bag i'm not sure how expensive it is but uh, it looks crazy to see cinnamon this size oh yeah it's beautiful looking at it i thought it was hibiscus tea but uh, it's actually rosella tea uh, she said it's like a herbal type of tea that you can uh, make apparently it's good for your health from what i understood but i, I don't know what it tastes like if it's like a rosy type of taste yeah. vitamin c yeah oh you have smaller this is, this is very bizarre you have small just that size just this size yeah. or bigger but what if i don't like it <laughs> then i have like half a kilo of rosella <laughs> what am i gonna do with it give it to the, it to the airbnb <laughs> Lima Pulu. Lima Pulu. Lima Pulu. Fif five thousand? No, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. <laughs> I 50 think. It's I think 50. it's fifty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fifty thousand. Uh, you want it? The out for you. you want it? You want it? If you do, yeah. So this guy is packing away. So that was a quick little look inside Pasar Gede. Naomi cannot go inside of a Pasar without buying something, whether it's tea, fresh fruit, etc. She is literally a market vendor's dream. And uh, she picked up some tea, two different types. And yeah. uh, I think it was a decent bargain actually. Yeah, sometimes I'm not sure here in Indonesia if we're supposed to negotiate the price or not, but so far we're just opting for supporting supporting the locals, so we're just gonna take whatever price they're saying and uh, not negotiate basically, but at some stage I'm sure we're gonna start negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually told if we go to Pasar Clever we should definitely haggle oh, for yeah, the price. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> just look at how beautiful, colorful this city is. Now there is supposedly a festival, an umbrella festival going on. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. I love all of these umbrella decorations on the old style uh, pillars here. 
the city is very very uh, stunning there's quite a bit of traffic right now at the moment it is the middle of the day so but we're very excited to explore the inner workings of Solo for those of you guys that might not know Solo has a tram line and uh, the tram literally goes twice a day from Solo to a place called Wonogiri twice a day it's very interesting I saw tram lines and we asked our grab driver what they were and uh, he said that there's a tram twice a day so that's very interesting it's an interesting uh, mode of transport I think to be going on a tram through traffic from one city to the next city very interesting right now we're making our way sort of through the city center and uh, just sort of taking it all in thank god shade shade yeah it's a very hot day hello see you oh, i don't know why but uh solo seems to be hotter than jogja so at the moment we're it's really hot. like i don't know if it's just today or if it's actually in comparison to jogja hotter here but i'm sweating i'm very happy about the shade right now <laughs> So this here is the Alon Alon of Solo and um, it appears that there's going to be a night market there possibly later on so very interesting and there seems to also be a little bit of a theme park as well going on yeah they have a lot of it, it looks like a fun fair of sorts I'm sure at night time it's like nicely illuminated uh, but we will have to come back as soon as the sun sets and just wait out the heat or something I don't know <laughs> yeah Well, everybody, welcome inside Pasar Klewer. Absolutely surrounded by clothing right now. Every corner that we're turning, it's like a maze made out of batik. And uh, just look at how vibrant these colors are. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful, but a little overwhelming as always with these like really large markets. You have so many colors, so many different cuts designs and uh, I don't know you never you, you never really know where to look at and where to go and what to buy and so on so you always take a little bit of time to just accustom yourself to the situation <laughs> and then you start buying something but yeah right now we're somewhere lost in Bazaar Clever no <laughs> idea where we are <laughs> cool accessories though cool bags nice accessories yeah bags beautiful Maybe I can exchange my backpack for one of these. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have one large bag instead of a backpack.